You know, this is some more good news. I mean, you all remember that uh, it was about 18 months ago, I guess it was, we gathered here in this room and we talked about Arkansas being the recipient, uh, one of six states as a recipient of uh, the Exxon uh, Mobile Grant uh, for uh, advanced placement, math and science. Uh, it was a, uh, it was something that we've been bragging about uh, across the state for the last couple years when we were talking about the uh, proliferation of AP courses, the proliferation of AP students, the increase in AP scores. We even bragged about uh, the fact that New Hampshire tied Arkansas as first in the nation for increases uh, in scores uh, for whatever that academic year was that uh, was the last set of numbers. Uh, well, this is even more good news uh, because, you see, through the success of this, and, and I think the press probably has some of these uh, some of this information on the schools, but let's see, three, six, nine, ten schools, existing schools, uh, and now we're going to add, I don't know what, 12, 13, 13 more schools. So in addition to the ten, we're, we're broadening the number of schools that are participating in the program, and there are a number of things, and Jim or, or someone can talk to you about some of the specifics in terms of uh, what these schools are doing to even be picked. Uh, and how they're uh, easing the access and uh, knocking down the barriers and the obstacles. But we all know the importance and significance of math and science and uh, English. Uh, and we all anecdotally at least know, although we've got a lot of empirical data now that goes with it, we anecdotally know uh, that those students who successfully complete the AP uh, curriculum are obviously better prepared, uh, prepared for higher education and do better, and that enhances our opportunity to do one of the goals that uh, we've set for ourselves, which is to increase the per capita number of baccalaureate degrees that exist uh, in our state. So all of this kind of fits together, but let me just give you just a few facts that, uh, that I think are exciting, and hopefully you all will think uh, are exciting too. That first group of schools that I mentioned that have been engaged in this process, Enrollment in AP Math, Science, and English classes increased by 40% for this school year, this current school year. 40% increase in those school, uh, collectively uh, among those schools. The number of students enrolled in these classes grew from 1,993 to 2,800 students. And here's the, here's the real kicker. This is the largest number. It's not the largest percentage. I mean, this is the largest gross number of students enrolled in AP Math, Science, and English in any of the six states in the United States of America that were awarded this Exxon grant. So when Exxon put this money out there in an attempt to try, and when they selected the six states that we all, were all so proud to be one of when we gathered here those many months ago, uh, they had a mission in mind, and the mission was to try to pick the states that were committed and the school districts and teachers and administrators and parents that were committed to trying to increase the number of AP courses and AP participants in order to better prepare our young people for this, what's now become a tried phrase, but is nevertheless totally accurate, global eco economy that we compete in. And if you figure that Exxon, with all that money, and devoting all that money for these salutary purposes, happened to pick six states that they thought would meet their goals and do well, it's pretty nice to be the one of the six that beat them all. <laughs> so that's where we are. And we're not going to quit. Uh, we're not going to quit. We're not going to rest uh, on uh, the accomplishments uh, over the course of the past year. But these people that are up here, together with many more who are not up here, uh, deserve so much credit, so much praise. Uh, uh, the Department of Education has worked so hard. Stacy, uh, I know all of the free work that you've done to try to, uh, uh, Julie, you need to get up here too. Uh, yeah, you probably need to get up here too. And we may, they may ask questions none of these folks can answer. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, Tommy Sue can. Yeah, Tommy Sue sure needs to be up here. Uh, I understand Tommy Sue's breathing a lot easier after the, the Walton Family Foundation did what they did. And let me single the Walton Family Foundation out too, because providing the match necessary for us to be able to actually access uh, the grant money was an integral part of the success of this. And the Walton Family Foundation deserves our thanks too. So we'll